Well guys, good afternoon. It's a good day. Asante Nisana, thank you for tuning in. Um, this is Knowledge Land with Charity and as always we talk about everything. Being October, the last weekend of October 2022, of course I'm so excited. Today we're going to talk about life after school. Like you're done with college, you're done with campus, so what's next? Join us as we have this conversation. We are live on YouTube and on Facebook. In the house, we have an amazing guest. She is beautiful. She's a PR strategist. Guys, she's so many things. I'm talking about Karen Linda. Karibu sana to the house. Thank you. You so look much amazing. For having me. Thank you. Like you don't disappoint. <laughs> Welcome, Karibu Sana. So I've told people you are a PR strategist, and of course I know you're so many things. So um, yeah. kindly just introduce yourself, tell us who you are. So my name is Karen Chalo, as you have introduced me. I am a communications professional mm -hmm. with two years of ex communication success mm -hmm. in driving print and mm -hmm. digital communications. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's basically what I do. Uh -huh. So Karen, what does a good day look to like? A good day to you. Like, what does it look like? It's a question I love asking. Yeah. So, uh, a good day to you. Well, a good day to me mm -hmm. is when the sun is up, mm -hmm. because everybody loves. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody loves when the sun is out, mm -hmm. and of course, when you get money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you're the people that you love and care about are okay. Mm -hmm. or have received good news, uh -huh. then definitely it will be a good news. So we're talking about life after school. So let's go back to where it all started. Tell me about just um, a, a small um, summary of your life in school. Like, how was it? Life in school was fun. Of course, Kampo is so, so full of vibes. Uh -huh. Yeah, no bills to pay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, you just focused with books and uh -huh. friends and, you know, just having fun and, of course, growth. Because you grow most, I believe you grow most when you are in campus. Okay. Yeah, because you're in your premieres, you want to know everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you tend to grow intellectually, mm -hmm. mentally, mm -hmm. emotionally, as mm -hmm. well as financially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some start businesses which, you know, pick off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you say... That early. Would you say life in school was much better, you know, compared to life after school? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> in what sense? Well, in school, we do not have, we do not have bills to pay. We do mm -hmm. not care, care mm -hmm. about, you know, having mm -hmm. bills to pay. But right now, everything mm -hmm. depends on you. Uh -huh. Who's parent, uh -huh. then the landlord is on your neck. Uh -huh. So, yeah, well, that's the biggest uh, difference mm -hmm. between life in school and life yeah. afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you have to stress about, mm -hmm. you know, what you're going to eat, what mm -hmm. you're going to wear, you know, where money will come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the big difference, I, I would say. Tell me the harsh realities of adulting. Well, there's that pressure to succeed. Yeah. Yeah, because, of course, there's the lifestyle that you want to afford. Uh -huh, true. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you definitely have the little pressure of wanting to start that life mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. But of course, it takes time mm -hmm. because good things take time. True. Take time True. to yeah. Yeah, to process. Mm -hmm. So I would say mm -hmm. the harsh reality is that you really need to be aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, to, in order to succeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and get what you want. Mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the product of achievement mm -hmm. is so nice and everybody craves for it. But, True. you know, the process towards that mm -hmm. is where, you know, is where most people, as we say, draw the line. Yeah. But that, that process mm -hmm. is what, is what makes you who you are. Yeah. Mm. True. So tell me, um, was employment to you, was it easy, you know, getting a job? You're done with school, so... How did you find your job? Was it hard to find? Did you, did you take a lot of time? Was it easy to find? No, I'm Tim Tamakin. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh -huh. yeah, of course I tamaked. Uh -huh. I tamaked a lot, but you know, during tamaking uh, moments, moments uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. the tamaking moments, uh -huh. you definitely have to find something uh -huh. to do. Just, just don't say that. Oh, well, you might be tamaking while volunteering some, mm -hmm. somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just really need to be doing something. Mm -hmm. Keep on, you know, asking yourself why you, why is everybody getting a job and, and not you? Yeah, uh -huh. so you really need to give yourself that mm -hmm. oomph of life. Mm -hmm. And yeah, have you at any point felt like you know giving up, losing faith, and probably changing direction in regards to your career path? I believe everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> is it just me? No, that of people course. get jobs and you know they're, they're okay and it's in line with what they did in school. Yeah. But for some people, um, 
you don't you don't get that job you mm-hmm. know and you feel like hey this is the wrong path yeah. i need to change my direction so as it as that happened to you yeah to, to some point <laughs> i really wanted to change from communications to being a lawyer i just don't know why <laughs> would you wait so you wanted no. to go back to school or, or what's no, the law it, it, it was just a thought that came mm-hmm. uh well i did not see myself going back to you know to back to school and studying law but mm-hmm. yeah i was like what if i did well it was kind of a regret well not a regret per se but uh-huh. it was like what if i did yeah. law mm-hmm. would it be as hard as it is right now mm-hmm. but i would say i believe i'm in the right profession uh-huh. so you know? so you you made you know you made peace with it like yeah, this is my thing i am doing it yeah aha uh-huh. it's like i made peace with that mm-hmm. and i definitely love this profession mm-hmm. mm. so how do how do you manage expectations from like or let me put it this way mm. are the expectations from your community now you know they know they, that lady is you know working in a big city she's living in nairobi she's living a good life is that that pressure or expectation from your community your people back at home no and really it, well yeah there's not that pressure well majority of my family are working in the city so okay. yeah majority of my family members are working in the city mm-hmm. so i do not feel that pressure that you don't feel like people have so much expectations about you no. you know we have a karambe we need to send something <laughs> well but if well to in some instances like the one that you've said arambe or mm-hmm. if someone wants your help financially mm-hmm. you want to help those where you can you just help where you can yeah, true. you don't break a bank to help someone yet you are not yet there mm-hmm. yourself mm-hmm. yeah so yeah of course you would send mm-hmm. um, some few coins uh-huh. to the people back at home uh-huh. <laughs> but it's not really uh, it, it does not pressure me yeah, yeah so you I don't, don't have to kill like, yourself for it yeah i like, don't feel like uh-huh. i need to you know just like i said break a bank to mm-hmm. help someone out there mm-hmm. mm. karen how does it feel earning your own money you know paying your bills being independent it's fun okay yeah well at the same time it's kind of scary because today you might be having a good job yeah. paying mm-hmm. your bills what about tomorrow yeah. what, what if covid comes back and everybody is laid off I'm, I'm, you are one of the people who are laid off you know there's yeah. that mm. But of course that's where businesses come in mm-hmm. and investments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you've yeah. thought of maybe you know having your own business to back it up, you know. Yeah, yeah you've course. talked about jobs, you know, um covid affecting jobs. Mm-hmm. So you've thought about having investments, making money, you yeah, know. Of course. You don't put your all your eggs in one basket. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you have to diverse uh, mm-hmm. your income. You mm-hmm. have to have some streams of income so that you know you cushion yourself whenever Tra- uh, tragedies like covid mm-hmm. or you know uh, huge tra- tragedies mm-hmm. yeah, that affects people globally mm-hmm. in case they come you really need to have you know a cushion sort mm-hmm. of yeah how did you manage the challenge you know um during that marking time how did you manage did you manage that pressure in between well i would say support from my friends uh-huh. you, know, you have supportive uh, friends like they yeah. would pay your bills or w- what really happened Well yeah some some supported me financially mm-hmm. but the the mental support yeah. is also key because mm-hmm. if they tell you that you are on the right path mm-hmm. you're doing great mm-hmm. and of course the doors will open mm-hmm. you know if you keep on applying because you have of course you have the papers yeah something will something good will come sure. your way sure. so that kind of support really mm-hmm. you know, encouraged me and mm-hmm. kept me moving Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. So um tell me the mistakes you make, you know, we're done with school. The mistakes we make is graduates. So what do you feel like um the, are the biggest mistakes people make after they're done with campus or college? Well, I would say giving up. Mm-hmm. You know, giving up is one of the mistakes mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. you know, if you're not careful then you not see the other side mm-hmm. of, you know, tamaki mm-hmm. because there's always light at the end of the tunnel mm-hmm. and so many people are focused on the darkness within the tunnel mm-hmm. and forget that this definitely the end of the tunnel mm-hmm. and it's going to be success mm-hmm. so that would be one of the mistakes that I would feel that people make mm-hmm. so, but if you have supportive family and yeah, friends yeah. then I think you should get that encouragement from within Mm-hmm. to you know soja on and mm-hmm. so it's keep just on going. keeping the right circle of course people who right you know like push you yeah 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 listening to advice mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. so many people are offering 
advice out here. Mm -hmm. you know, um, oh, sorry, sorry. They're, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're motivational speakers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, some of them are in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them are hosted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so people, I, I would really feel like if you tend to listen to such kind of platforms, mm -hmm. you would get help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on that note, um, do you have mentors? Like, not apart from your family, yeah. apart from your friends that, you know, keep you going? Yeah, of course. Everybody uh -huh. has mentors uh -huh. and people that you look up to, role uh -huh. models. People thing. that you talk to, not just idols that you're, you're, you're looking, you, you, you're like, I want to be this person. But do you have those people who you talk to? Like, this is my mentor. This is a person I can call when I'm, you know, low and I feel like I'm making mistakes. If I have issues with my career. Mm -hmm. well, I have a, yeah, well, I have a career mentor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone who I look up to professionally. So mm -hmm. in case of anything, well, if it's about my work, mm -hmm. I would definitely call them and... I know they always give a hand because of their vast experience mm -hmm. in co the communication field. Mm -hmm. So they're, yeah, they're, he's always there to mm -hmm. guide me mm -hmm. professionally. Tell us about your experience after school. We would really love to hear. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube. You can also call in live on 0721-695384. And of course, you know how we do it, sharing the links to your family and to your friends. As I I can see you, you have tuned in. I will just sample out um, a few comments from some of you. Continue sharing those things and of course commenting. So we have Rosalina Muisa. She's saying, classmates, I am watching you. Charity and Karen Linda, let's keep winning in God's in God's name. I love you, ladies. We love you too. Asante Sana. We have Vaji Praise. She's saying, tuned. Say hello to my girl, Karen. Yeah, so Vigi, Vigi Praise, Asante Sana. Um, we have Patrick Permi Permission Bull. Um, he's saying, wow, great. Um, keep this burning. Asante Sana, Patrick, we appreciate. Thank you so much. We have Belinda Wanyangu. She's saying, um, I'm tuned from Bungoma County. Proud of you, Karen. People like so much out here. Thank you so much for the love, guys. We really appreciate. We have Frederick Mwanza Mutili. She's saying, um, that he's saying that he is watching and that this is very educative. To appreciate Sana. Thank you so much. Um, so Asante Sana, we have another person here. Um, and Emmanuel Achesa. He is saying awesomeness. Asante sana, we have Joy Mwanza, uh, Anasema, I am watching. Thank you so much. Um, you can t continue sharing those links and, of course, commenting. So, Karen, yes. um, we were talking about, um, about uh, pre being prepared, you know, uh, f we, you be prepared about the life that is coming after school. So, tell me, were you prepared a uh, about, you know, the difficulties that would come after Maliza Shule? Like, were you really prepared? Did you have the knowledge that... Well, I was not, well, I would say COVID hit right before we finished school, so you know. COVID. Like uh, a year Nobody before? Was prepared. No, no, no. During the, well, I was to graduate the year COVID struck. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did not know what to expect. Okay. You no, know, companies were laying people off, so uh -huh. I did not really know when, when mm -hmm. my career would, would pick off. Mm -hmm. But thank God we are here, mm -hmm. because at least we managed to go through, to, to get through COVID. True. Yeah. So were you prepared? So you were not prepared at all? Like you didn't know what you would um, find outside here? Like what you would expect? Yeah, majority of, of, of students do not really know how life after school But you've be. heard of this narrative that, you know, you really have to tarmac before you get a job. Yeah, uh -huh. but to some extent you do not really believe to, in, in that. You say you, maybe your case would be different. Uh -huh. and there's always that hope that uh -huh. your case might be different. You know, uh -huh. you might get jobs when others are getting uh -huh. laid off. Uh -huh. So nobody really prepared. Well, I, I wish I would be prepared financially, uh -huh. you know, because <laughs> that came as a shock. Uh -huh. But I thank God I managed, uh -huh. True. and now I'm here. Uh -huh. yes. So um, would you advise people to have businesses in school? Just in case you don't get something to do when you know you you've graduated, of course I would. If you are able to get a, 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 a if you are able to to start and manage a good business mm -hmm. while in school, mm -hmm. please do it, do it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Before your career kicks off, yeah. at least you'll be having something to pay off your bills. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe create employment opportunities to some who uh -huh. need it the most. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I wish I did mm -hmm. back in campus because. Yeah, with all that money mm -hmm. and the student loan that I used to get, mm -hmm. I hope, I wish I started something. Mm -hmm. But you know, 
Uh, we are here, yeah, we are here. <laughs> and we already have something yeah, <laughs> so we thank yeah, god yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, thank mm-hmm. god do you, do you think um, how you live in school affects how you you know how you live outside here do you think school life affects your life after graduation no those are two different things because i'm a firm believer of being at well life in school is the theory part mm-hmm. and life after school is now the practical mm-hmm. so it's like, just like a chemistry class where you mm-hmm. you know you read about mm-hmm. uh what did you learn about in chemistry? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, well, the chapters that needed practical lessons. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you go to the lab, mm-hmm. it was kind of, you know, sort of different. Yeah, you, it's like you have the script, but you just feel like it's different. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, those are life in school. Is it's different from life out here. Mm, so so you have to get outside. Yeah, to, um, yeah, to live the life outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just cannot live the life that you used to live back in Kampo. Uh-huh. Mm. What has t- life after school taught you? Like, what are the lessons you've learned after graduating? I guess the biggest of them all is be aggressive with life. Uh-huh. In life, that mm-hmm. is, be aggressive in life mm-hmm. because su- success does not come easy and does, does not come well. It does not come. You just don't wait for success. Mm-hmm. You know, you become aggressive enough. Yeah. You know, for you in order for you to succeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that's be ag- the biggest. Lesson. Biggest lesson: yeah. Be aggressive. Be don't, aggressive. Don't just wait. You don't. You don't Do you believe in the theory of you know connections? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> this is Kenya, uh-huh. and if if your success uh-huh. came from connections, well, that's that's okay. Yeah, w- yeah. well and good. Uh-huh. You know, well, you cannot reject a job simply because it came through connections. True, true. Yeah, maybe you did you did network back in Kampo. That's uh-huh. when that, that's where you are. You know, mm-hmm. succeeding quite fast compared mm-hmm. to your peers. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, networking and connections mm-hmm. they are real deal. Mm-hmm. So if if necessary, mm-hmm. um, if it's possible mm-hmm. for you to connect, mm-hmm. yeah, please network. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were your expectations met when, you know, you're done with school and you're like, by 26, I need to have a range, you know? Range <laughs> <Such> <laughs> so, Okay, I'm not really um, talking about range, but of course you have those expectations that when mm-hmm. I'm done with school, this is my plan. By the time I'm, I'm hitting 26 yeah. or 27, I want to own this, I want to be driving, you know. What are some, uh, have you achieved some of the things? Some of the plans that I have. Yeah. Um, a, a quarter. Mm-hmm. I have achieved a quarter. Mm-hmm. Of course, I have a way long to go. I only sure. have two years out, uh, after after, after school. school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. two years cannot really, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. be the... Well, it, it kind of builds the foundation mm-hmm. of what you're now going to achieve afterwards. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, well, I, I would say I'd still, I'm still building the foundation. Mm-hmm. I'm not yet there. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely not yet there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but... Yeah, I am grateful for where I am yeah. currently, mm-hmm. and of course, uh, waiting for what is to come. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, d- how do you manage? You know, you there are some that you've not achieved, and probably there are some of your friends who are doing better. You know, you know, we have different timelines. So there mm-hmm. are people who are way out ahead of us, probably. Mm-hmm. So, do you get that kind of pressure? You know, they've made it. We we had such plans. Of course, you you, you are staying in a circle of friends, mm-hmm. and you are like, guys. Aki, by this time, we want to be, you know, to Kwehapa and, mm. yeah, all that. to Dubai mm. every now and then. <laughs> so, have you, have you had that pressure, you know, my friend is doing good. You know, she's traveled and all that, and I'm just here. Yeah, the pressure, the, the, the pressure is there, mm-hmm. but I would advise people to look at it as motivation. Okay. Because at least you say, if your peer is, mm-hmm. is now, you know, earning $1,500 mm-hmm. per month, mm-hmm. then you, of course, that should kind of, Mm-hmm. be an encouragement to you mm-hmm. because you definitely you also be there mm-hmm. if you know you work hard mm-hmm. and put in the effort mm-hmm. yeah Karen how do you navigate in this competitive world PR is wide it's huge you know uh, PR firms are so many mm-hmm. how do you navigate yourself well I take lessons from my communication men- my professional mentor okay uh, yeah in case of challenges mm-hmm. that comes mm-hmm. th- that come mm-hmm. with PR, mm-hmm. uh, of course I communicate to him mm-hmm. that I may ask, you know, some because you know you tend to look at uh, the people who have been there for mm-hmm. and what they were doing mm-hmm. and maybe what you would chip in with, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, I would, I would say my communication mentor mm-hmm. is really plays plays a huge role when mm-hmm. it comes to my life professionally. Nice. Yeah. So it's important to really have mentors. Yeah, uh-huh. of course. 
Mm -hmm. really have really need someone to mm -hmm. to be there to hold your hand you uh -huh. know? yeah whenever you fall at mm -hmm. least they tell you well that's that that is not what should be done but mm -hmm. this is this is the these are the do's and the don'ts mm -hmm. of course you need someone to you know to teach you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what is your motivation what makes you wake up every morning fear of poverty <laughs> everybody fears poverty everybody fears poverty <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, no, I'm of no exception. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I also wish to have surplus, you know, to help other people. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, yeah, of course, with my generous part of life, I mm -hmm. really want to be a help to someone. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, for you, fear of poverty? Yeah, everybody fears being poor. <laughs> that comes in number. <laughs> Yeah, so good. Have, have a comfortable life. Okay. Well, let me put it. Uh -huh. no, fear, fear, <laughs> when fear of poverty mm -hmm. is kind of negative, but let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. If there's a, there's a lifestyle that you want to lead, mm -hmm. and so that, and that, that, that lifestyle is not does not come on a silver platter. True. So you definitely have to work for it. True. And of course, that is what motivates me every day. You know mm -hmm. to be uh, able to afford uh, the kind of lifestyle that I've always dreamed of. Mm -hmm. So for you, is it financial freedom or financial independence? Like, what do you work towards? Maybe both. Both, okay. Yeah, but especially okay. financial freedom, because uh -huh. when, you're f when you're free to do anything with yeah. your money, yeah. Yeah, every, I think everybody craves, craves for that. Freedom. Yeah. True. And independence, per se. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, yeah, well, let me say they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So, of course, everybody craves for financial freedom, mm -hmm. financial independence. Uh -huh. Guys, continue talking to us. We are live on Facebook and on YouTube. And today's topic, of, of course, is life after school. Tell us your exper ex experience. Share uh, your experience. We would love to hear. Karen. Yes. As your circle of friends reduced, like from school, of course, as it reduced? Well, not say reduced per se, but mm -hmm. of course the communication that we used to have mm -hmm. uh, while well, well back in school is definitely reducing because mm -hmm. people are, are now busy. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're in school, the only things that we, you know, cared about were mm -hmm. books mm -hmm. and, 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 and the friendship. Mm -hmm. but right now people are busy mm -hmm. looking for money, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, growing in their careers, yeah. some getting married, settling mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. So all of that is mm -hmm. there. And well, yeah, the communication kind of mm -hmm. reduces mm -hmm. but it does not mean that the friendship is not mm -hmm. tight mm -hmm. you know if the friendship and uh, support is still there regardless mm -hmm. of where people are mm -hmm. you definitely have to communicate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's a, it has reduced but in a good way the, yeah, the communication good, yeah. part of it yeah i would say people are busy uh -huh. <laughs> in a positive way of course uh -huh. yeah. so um one word for someone who's in school they're not yet um you know done with school but they're graduating probably soon or after some years so what's that one word for, for such people just keep at it and mm -hmm. i hope you are i hope you love what you're doing mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. yeah i hope you are focused is you are doing the course that you love mm -hmm. and maybe you have you are passionate about mm -hmm. so just keep at it mm -hmm. and graduation is is an achievement uh -huh. yeah people really tend to sideline graduating but mm -hmm. it is really a big achievement mm -hmm. just like someone getting married or someone getting a job mm -hmm. yeah graduating mm -hmm. I tend to feel, I'm a firm believer of graduation is a, a huge achievement mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. should not be sidelined. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just keep at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Then you focus on on books mm -hmm. and, and, and the things that, you know, make you happy. Yeah, and focus on you graduating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for one who is struggling, you know, with life, trying to find their path, you know, applying for those jobs, they are not getting it. Well, never give up. Uh -huh. I know it sounds like it's kind of a cliche everybody says that but mm -hmm. those three words are so phenomenal mm -hmm. and yeah people should just never give up with life mm -hmm. just there's always mm -hmm. light at the end of the tunnel mm -hmm. and it's always darkest before mm -hmm. dawn mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i'm a firm believer of that <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. so, let so people, never give up yeah, keep people. pushing Keep so, uh, pushing. Uh -huh. people keep pushing. Uh -huh. mm. my, my producer is telling me about time. So before we sign out, um, mm. just give us your social handles in case we want to reach you. You know, we want those strategies. We want to consult about PR. Where can we get you? Yeah, if you want to get reach me uh, socially, I am active on Instagram and uh -huh. Twitter. Uh -huh. Those are the two social media handles that I am 
so active in uh -huh. and they are at ninda.k uh -huh. ninda.k that is twitter and instagram yeah would you mind sharing your number or it's, it's too personal <laughs> i don't have a work number <laughs> Unless I give out my oh, we are looking forward to having one. <laughs> well, uh -huh. well, if the clients are many, of course, so uh -huh. not. But so far, let for me, now, yeah, for now, uh -huh. let people reach me through the two handles. Thank you so much, Karen, for showing up. We Thank really you appreciate for me. Thank you. I Karen. appreciate it. Thank you so much, Pia, for, sh for tuning in. It wouldn't have been a show without you. Remember to make a date with me next weekend, same time, same place. I've been your host, Charity Linda. Bye-bye.